The question 6 is to simplify rational expressions. Here we have got rational expressions. Basically when you have this variable x squared, say a polynomial equation up in the numerator and in the denominator, it's a rational expression. Now how do you simplify this? So you can see it's just uh, the numerator and denominator we should simplify. And if we can simplify further, well and good, like if you can cancel any terms. Now, before we multiply this, see, naturally we might think, okay, how about I just multiply this and solve? That would make it more complicated because you won't be able to simplify anything. The best would be try simplifying, you know, getting everything in terms of factors in the sense the denominator instead of a quadratic equation, get it in terms of a factor. What do I mean by that? Take out your calculators. Now you need to press more, phi and three because it's quadratic. You can see it's more phi three and now substitute the values one, one and minus 12. Now you can get the answers three and minus four. Let me write it out. X is equal to three, X is equal to minus four. But we don't want, what is the values equal to? We need to get it inside. Oh, by the way, I just saw the second part as well. State when the original expression is undefined. Undefined points are just solving this. See, these are the two points which are undefined in the sense, whenever in this particular equation, X value is three, what happens? The denominator becomes zero. You can try this this entire thing will be undefined because you're dividing by zero or if it is minus four. So what you basically do is whatever is the denominator here, you equate it to zero. You can solve it by mod phi three. You will get the two answers. That is this. These are the two X values which make this expression undefined. Okay, that is fine. That is one part. But what you want is simplifying this expression. How would you do it is get these two X values in terms of factors now. What you do is take this inside. Instead of plus, it becomes minus x minus 3. And here it becomes x plus 4. So instead of writing this term over here, denominator, up term remains the same. x, x minus 3, x plus 5, a 6. That is the numerator. Down is denominator, up is numerator. Okay, and numerator, numerator. And down it is denominator, denominator, okay, just writing it out there. And now instead of this term, I will write x minus 3, x plus 4, that's it. And you can cancel these two terms. What's remaining? You're remaining with x plus, uh, sorry, x into x plus 6, x plus 4. So this is it. This is the simplification. You can see your option will be this. You can see over here. Now, over here, they have just used a bit long method, I guess. No, the same thing, okay? Uh, you know, over here, up and down. One second. Up and down, it's x minus 3. Just cancel it off. Whatever is remaining, that's your answer. That is x into x minus 6 divided by x plus 4. Now, what is the second part? What we had got just a while ago. See these x values, what we got? x equals 3 and x equals minus 4. Those are by the zero product uh, property in the sense whatever is the denominator make it equal to zero and solve those x values one was minus four one was plus three that's it so this is your answers now there is a shortcut method for this but this is very easy so don't use the shortcut over here but anyways i just uh you know for all the other problems also you can do with the calculator method now what that means is see you only it works when you have four options now, you know, this is the topic number six. So you have MCQ, four options. You need your calculator for this. What you need to do is you need to assume an X value over here. You can assume anything you want. Now, I generally start with 1.5. I just consider X equals 1.5. And now what I do is I just substitute 1.5 instead of X. Since these both are equivalent equation, no matter what, I need to get the same answer. So what do you do is it's alpha x multiplied with, you can write it as it is, sorry, no need of alpha x, sorry, 1.5 times 
1.5 minus 3 close the bracket then we have 1.5 plus 6 close the bracket divided by this is 1.5 square uh, plus 1.5 minus 12 this is it and now when you press equal to you'll get the answer we got 45 by 22 note it down over here this is very important so one second for some okay here we go we can write it now it'll be equal to 45 by 22 so this is the answer here when you put the answer as well you must get the correct answer i've noticed that this answer is wrong why because it's x minus 3 x plus 6 it must be plus 6 here and over here so to be very honest what happened is just a while ago i did this entire method and it was minus 6 i was just trying to wrap around what's going on and everything and then i just realized it was wrong after a long time to be very honest so i've edited all the parts where i was struggling now all you do is put over here instead of x 1.5 1.5 times 1.5 plus 6 it's not minus divided by 1.5 plus 4 it should match this answer because these both are equivalent equations now how this helps all the other three options which are wrong will never match if they match that means they are the same answer it cannot be you will have only one unique answer so all you need to do is try it on all the four options with x as 1.5 and whichever matches is your correct answer and what about this we are just equate the denominator to zero and solve it we'll get the x values so it's very simple once you understand the trick um, you can even use it if there are two variables instead of x there is x and y it's fine take x as 1.5 y as 2.5 and you can solve it we will see one of that now this is again a simple and straightforward one if you're doing it you know the right way put this in calculator split it out and then simplify see over here the steps are there this is factored out after you factor you can cancel this plus twos and then you're trying to simplify how much you can and this is your final remainder i mean equivalent equation this is the answer and now how do you find what where is it undefined this is very important now since the denominator is in factors it's very easy one answer is y equals minus 2 one more is y equals plus 4 and look at this 2y 2y right must be equal to 0 this 2 goes to the other side it's 0 itself so y is equal to 0 so if y is 0 or if y is minus 2 or if y is 4 this expression is undefined these are the answers y is 0 minus 4 and lastly minus 2 sorry it's not minus 4 it's plus yeah sorry my bad y is 0 y is plus 4 and minus 2 these are the answers we got same way you can try other things now i will do this because there are two variables uh, the thing is you need to remember we have some identities do you remember the identities for say you have a squared minus b squared what is the identity over here it is a plus b a minus b now what about this again a squared minus 3 squared we can write it as sorry it's not a it's x let me just erase this instead of a it is x x minus 9 i'm solving that one it's x squared minus 3 squared that is 9 right 3 squared is 9. So we can write it as x minus 3 or x plus 3, x minus 3. You should have a plus and minus term. Over here, x squared minus z squared, you will have x plus z, x minus z. And now you simplify it straightforward. Here what happens? It becomes x plus 3, x minus 3. Then what, what happens over here? x plus z x minus z or z it's the same thing 4 into x plus z and x minus 3 so cancel the common terms now you're remaining with x plus 3 x minus z divided by 4 that is the final answer simplification you can see x plus 3 x minus z divided by 4 
But what are the undefined values? Undefined values would be whenever the denominator is zero. So this is a constant. Ignore that. Doesn't matter. Here x equals minus z. X equals positive three. These are the undefined answers. You can see over here x equals three and x equals minus z. That's the undefined. Now, if you're doing it in calculator, direct method, like the shortcut one, how would it be? Take out your calculators. Now, here, all you need to do is assume values for x and z. So I will assume x to be 1.5, z to be 2.5. You can change it to 2, 1, anything, it's fine. But I just take these values anyways. Now, we here, use the symbol, not that, sorry, over here fraction symbol and now start with x is 1.5 squared minus 9 close the bracket now open the bracket again what is x squared 1.5 squared it is what is z squared minus 2.5 squared close the bracket divided by 4 times x is 1.5 plus 2.5 multiplied with 1.5 minus 3 what's the answer okay let me just double check because you know sometimes when you type some errors then again you need to type this it'll be a, a big huge uh, thing to do again let me just quickly double check it 1.5 minus look at this is correct okay this is also right and finally we have yes all all substitutions are right it's negative 9 by 8. So the answer is minus 9 by 8. Try the same thing with the same x and uh, z values in all the four options. Only the correct answer will give you the same answer as negative 9 by 8. Let's try. It is 1.5 plus 3. Don't interchange the values of x and z. x is always, once you assume 1.5 here, it's the same one. Close the bracket, open it. 1.5 minus 2.5 close it up divided by 4 the answer is 9 by 8 so this is the only correct answer all the others will mismatch will not be the exact value that's how you can easily solve these simplification of rational expressions even over here see for this part you need to use your calculator and solve uh, factor it out and then for undefined values whatever is the denominator just solve it put in the calculator here mode 5 3 x squared coefficient is 1. There is no x term. Let me just do it. For the first part, mod phi 3, you put the coefficient 1. Then there is no x term 0 and last term is minus 64. Now the answer is 8 and minus 8. So here undefined value 8 and minus 8 are there. Okay, 8 and minus 8. But what about the next one? Again, mod phi 3, 1, minus 6, minus 16. The answers are 8 and minus 2. So now here in this particular case, 8 is repeated. Don't write it again and again. Over. Only once. That's it. So we are 8, mi 8 minus x equals minus 8. x equals minus 8. That means, sorry, x minus 8, x minus 8. Two terms are there. But you take it to the other side, it's eight, x minus x equals 8. Only mention it once, not twice. But this is not mentioned before. So x is minus 2. So here you can see the undefined values are this, this, and lastly this. x plus 2 equals 0. When you solve it, you'll get minus 2. This is how you solve these problems. Straightforward again. The detailed explanation is over here. You can refer it and just try solving all of these by yourselves. Even over here, it's just one variable. You can check your answers by the calculator method. You will get the correct answer. It must be the matching answers in both the cases. To whatever you assume the y value again when you're assuming the y value for the calculator method it can be anything but try to take 1.5 or above and over here straightforward again there are various ways factor it out simplify it that's the main thing so we have factored out what is factored x squared is factored out so x squared is removed outside so you're remaining with 9 minus 1x remains because 2 is gone out that's how, even over here, this is calculator, denominator is direct calculator, and you will get the answers. Over here, they have just asked you to simplify, nothing else, so just simplification. So if such cases come, you can directly use the calculator method, check the answers. 
the calculated direct method what happens is you need to try it for all the four options so that's the thing if your answer is the fourth option it'll take time if you get the equal answer matching answer in the first option that means that's your answer finish that's it now there are many variables you know you can use the calculated method it doesn't matter but just that you need to assume values a is 1.5 b is 2.5 c is 3.5 like that but i would highly suggest you not to do that it'll take so long for such problems such problems just simplify manually look at the numbers keep it aside i'll write 3 into 12 divided by 8 into 18 this numbers leave it now here only the variables first figure out how many a's are there in the numerator 1 2 so it is a power 2 how many in the denominator a2 and 3 3 are there so a power 3 or a squared multiplied by a add the powers up it will be 3 now next go to b b square only denominator 1 3 it is total 4 b's okay what about c c how many are there 3 and 1 that means c is 4 here in the numerator what about the denominator 2 and 1 that is 3 what about f there is no d e f directly f in the numerator is 3 in the denominator is 5 okay now you simplify this can be done and calculated directly or you can just do it over here now 4 2 times 4 3 times 3 1 times 3 6 times 3 1 times 3 3 times so sorry 3 2 times over here it'll be 1 fourth 1 by 4 the thing or just put in the calculator you'll get the answer now what about the uh, variables alphabets whenever you have numerator and denominator this about term minus the below term that's it same thing over here b 2 minus 4 now c 4 minus 3 and f 3 minus 5 now there's nothing in denominator why because i brought everything up to solve now over here you will get 1 fourth a to the power minus 1 b to the power minus 2 c to the power positive 1 f to the power minus 2 so all these negatives can be taken down now take it to the denominator this is sorry now everything the negative powers if you take it down it becomes positive so it's a power 1 we don't write 1 now b power 2 c is positive so let it be up itself power 1 over here f power 2 and this is 1 so this would be the final answer so this is it or you can just cancel it 2 over here 1 remains directly you can do it see I'll just change the color over here see 2 is gone over here 1 remains 2 is gone here 2 remains 3 is gone 1 remains 2 remains so what would be the answer it's 1 fourth here left side and we are remaining with c only in the numerator so do one writing this one one times c is c and what what remains over here a1 b square f square so it's the same answer anyhow you do but this was just for understanding purpose now even you can do the calculator method ultimately it will be the same answer you can see it is c divided by 4 times a b square f square other problems please do try it by yourselves just the variables are changing method is the same um it just over here they have just split out everything and then cancel it just takes too long instead of that just use the method which i told you just remember how many x's are they write it up up x's divided by x first is w then x y and z so write them in order see what we did a while ago like this all the a's first b second c's and then simplify it it will save you a lot of time and it'll be quicker same thing over here but now you can see there's division we did multiplication plenty of them what about division the rule is very very simple all you need to do is the left side remains the same 64 a squared b power 5 divided by 35 b squared c cube f to the power 4 
But here, when you do multiplication, because you know division will be very, very complicated, the inverse of that is multiplication. If you do the inverse, this must be swapped. Denominator comes up and numerator goes down. So here, the denominator 70 A, B, C, F squared comes up, divided by 12 A to the power 4 B cube C. Now you can easily simplify all the numbers together. I'll write it over here. 64 times 70, 70 over here, divided by 35 times 2L. What about A? It is A cube in the numerator, B to the power 6, C, F2. Now, denominator A power 4, B is 5, because there is 2 and 5, 3 over here, so it's 5 c to the power 4 and f to the power 4. Now we can simplify 1 2 times and this is 1 time 6 times uh, I know 2 tables goes it's 3 times over here 32 times and 32 by 3 will remain 32 by 3 and over here what happens it will be numerator will have b because 6 minus 1 uh, 5 is 1 then that's it only b in the denominator it will be a one because it's four minus it will be down then this will be c to the power three and f power two so that will be the final answer so that's it it's just that you need to swap this and then solve it you can see it's 32 b divided by 3 a c to the power cube f square that's what we got so this is how we can easily simplify these problems Please do practice more problems and I think so those are all the different types of problems. Yes, that's it. This is also again straightforward. No need of finding the denominator undefined value and all. It's only to simplify here. The last one. Whenever division is there, swap them. You can see over here it's been swapped up. In fact, this is the same problem which we did just a while ago, I guess. Oh no, the, the values are a little different. Sorry. Um, Oh, my bad. The answer is written wrongly. I just solved this. I just realized that this answer is the previous problem's answer. I'll just solve this now. Here, what happens is you will have 14 uh, C squared F to the power 5. You can pause the video. Do it by yourselves. But now you must be thorough. But since the answer is wrong, uh, there's no solution. I'll solve this now. It's 18. Let me just change the color after I write this. A, B, cube divided by 35, C, F to the power 4. Okay, now what we do is we just sum, uh, write the numbers together. It will be 14 times 18 divided by 9 times 35. Then what, what do we got over here? What have we got? It's A, B, cube, C, square, F, 5. A square B is not there, so I leave a space C and F4. Why I leave a space is so I don't get confused over here. So it's easy for me to understand. Okay, B is empty, so we uh, this remains. Now here 9 1 time, 9 2 times, and then um, we have got 735. Yes, 7 1 time, 2 times, and 7 5 times is 35. It'll be 4 by 5 here. You can put in the calculator to get it. And here directly 2 minus 1 will be in the denominator A. C, B is in the numerator B cube. C is also in the numerator and F over here. So this is the answer for the last problem. So please make sure because the answer is not there over here. So please make sure you do it properly. They can check with this answer. That's the answer. This is not the answer. I apologize. This is the wrong answer. This is the answer for the previous question. Here we are. And that's the end. Please practice more problems by yourselves. Do, do try to solve more and more. And that's how you, you know, can easily solve problems in the exam and it'll be quicker. I'll see you all in the next video with the next question.